University of Michigan where you can take classes. Um, yes, and you get yeah. your credits transferred. Credits and transferred you can over get a year of college and being in high school. Yes, right. and then when you go to Michigan, when you go to University of Michigan, you're not paying for anything. Is it, is it like a STEM program or an AP program? It's, it's like that, but it's a, it's a little bit it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more detailed. And they had those in like Houston. It's called Wolf Green's Pathway. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit more detailed. Then the Houston School has that. You can take a class like that and the kids go yep. like two years of They've got that for University of Michigan and also Oakland Community College where you can actually graduate with uh, Associate's degree. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. I have two, two both here too. Oh wow. Catch me smoking. All right, folks. Let's run. Let's run. Front, that's uh, Coach Tim Conley. Nice. Maybe him down here. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Beautiful introduction. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. You guys get a good picture? Yeah, I got a good picture. And Vanessa had to jump out of here. All right, just in case for the summer folks that didn't meet him, the gentleman that opened up the door here is our head football him? coach, and he's also an educator here. His name is Tim Conley. He's actually the most winningest coach in South Ohio history. Dumpty Dump Cal Fletcher's record. Good. <laughs> this is our this is the district athletic director, Mr. Roger Jones. Hello. Also president of the Detroit chapter of the NFL Players Association. How y'all doing? All right. Good job. This is the B House Cafeteria. <laughs> such an expansive and big cafeteria over there, Bee House Cafeteria is used mainly for the student athletes. So during the school day, uh, they'll come in here for their lunch time. They come in here, they get away from the distractions, they do their official work, uh, prep and test, we've got students that are in here. Um, Teachers that are in here, pretty much. 
And because after school, they don't have that much time. You know, they're going to be busy doing whatever yeah. they're doing. And because of that, that is one of the reasons us separating the athletes, especially the football team, because it's like 67 kids usually. Uh, just in the varsity program, you're talking about close to 200 kids from wow. freshman to varsity. Um, we set the state record with 19 kids from the same team, from the same school, getting college scholarships. We broke that record the next year, and we ended up having 20 kids, and we've consistently been putting in double-digit kids into universities on full scholarships. Wow, right. So, so do they have to eat in this cafeteria, or is it a choice? Encouraged. Encouraged. Strictly encouraged. Vigorously encouraged. Because not only that, you know, I, I give Coach Conley a lot of credit because not only he does, he, not only does he teach, not only does he coach, but the recruiting stuff he's meeting with. I think just in the past three months, uh, Jim Harbaugh has been here all the time. You know, Mac Antonio, all these big name college coaches are coming in here to see these kids, and especially when we had some of the you know the blue chippers, the four or five star kids, like uh, unfortunately. A friend that's going through a little problems right now, Malik McDowell, and went to Michigan State. When he was here, every head coach, every head program was here trying to recruit him. So Coach Conley does a lot to get not only him, but any athlete on our team. He's trying to get them cleared through the NCAA clearinghouse so they can be NCAA eligible to play college sports. And that's a process in itself. You know, it's not like it used to be where we could just play football and then somebody say, okay, we're going to give you a scholarship now. You have to. SAT, ACT scores have to be up. You have to be clearing house eligible, which means your curriculum while you're actually going to school here has to be NCAA eligible. It's way a lot more. It's a lot more. It's not like popping like they used to. What does Conley teach? He's a Spanish and I believe history teacher. Fluent in Spanish. He takes. He actually takes. He does a trip every year over to Spain with a bunch of students. Thank you. 
actually what they expanded upon the wood shops the classroom the organic shop all that was this back here they expanded they knocked all that out expanded built outwards and that's where the field house comes into effect and if you want to take a look here on the wall they started a legacy program here in Southfield too where they honor all the Southfield legacy legends you got a uh, hang on the wall I don't think Torn's up there actually Actually, you got a better lot. 